so as we've seen today, schools are in a rush not to educate your kids, not to teach them anything, uh, but only to care for their emotions with a whole bunch of progressive pablum drop down their throats. But this is Instant Classics, where we actually talk about what education could be, and we give you examples of what your kids could be learning if we took the time to actually care about subject matter. It's time again for real education, and we've been focusing on the great Renaissance, Baroque Renaissance figure, Lorenzo Bernini, and just a staggering intellect, a brilliant architect, a painter of high renown, a, a poet and, a, and theatrical man, and most rec represented, perhaps remembered for his incredible sculpture. It's called The Vision of Constantine, and it's an incredibly detailed, uh, very, very uh, amazing, really, equestrian statue. There is Constantine, uh, the Roman general, and he's, he, he's up on a horse, and the horse has two legs rearing back. Why? Because the vision of Constantine. He looks up in the sky. He's, he's, com he's completely overnumbered. He's about to take on uh, a Roman emperor who once was his boss. Now there's a rebellion in place. Uh, that that uh, Roman emperor has far more resources and soldiers than Constantine does. This is the Battle of the, Mil uh, the Milvan Bridge, uh, very famous. And even though he's outnumbered, Constantine looks to the sky and he sees a sign in the sign of the cross, in flaming, a uh, flaming cross, and underneath the Latin words, in hoc signis winkis, right? In this sign, you will conquer. So Constantine quickly looked around and consulted his intellectuals, found out that that was the sign of the Christians. And so he vowed that if he was to win this battle against all odds, he would take Christianity upon himself. So there is Constantine, and notice that the horse, too, in, the, in this miraculous sight, uh, miraculous sight in the sky, uh, overwhelmed, uh, the light that you comes blazing down from the sky illuminates him on his horse. And you can see from this other vision, this other uh, angle, just how detailed the carving is. Uh, this is one of his just many spectacular um, sculptures. And this one has a particular uh, importance for uh, Rome in the 17th century. As Rome was fighting back against the Protestant Re uh, Reformation, and they, the Counter-Reformation was trying to win back souls and to provide uh, a reason for Europeans to choose Catholicism over Protestantism, this is a hearkening back to that moment where uh, Rome, uh, the Roman form of Christianity was adopted first by Rome, a Roman general who became a Roman emperor. So this is a powerful piece of Catholic propaganda, as well as being a, an incredibly beautiful and inspiring uh, tribute to a particular moment that actually ended paganism in the West up until today when it's making a comeback.